I eventually got rid of that troublesome gearbox. As usual, I used Fusion 360 to redesign a new motor mount for the conveyor belt. So I wanted to have a direct drive. So I've hidden the old gearbox. And on the other side of the bed, I just started drawing. You can see I used an existing motor mount from, from the Hypercube as a guide to where the hole should be. I also put in a bit of a, a, a web, a fillet, whatever you call that, and then reinforcement. And then just file, save as STL, and printed it out. Here you can see the printed out motor mount. So the motor slips in like this with a coupling on the shaft and gets to, um, fastened onto the frame. I used the standard M5 T slot nut to mount the motor onto the, the bottom aluminium extrusion frame there. So I'm just screwing in the M5 bolts and I'll put the nuts on and just mount it onto the bed. Now all I have to do is tighten the grub screws on the, the aluminium coupling. So the last step is to connect the motor, the super motor, to the ramps board. Now we're just testing that the direction is correct. So here I'm printing a scanned statue of a Yorkshire Terrier. Thanks for all the feedback, please like and subscribe.